Hey guys, it's Jaden from Tech for Days, and today we're here with another awesome Inatech product. I hadn't reviewed for them in quite a while, I've just been kind of busy and, you know, just haven't really caught up with things, but finally I got something in quite a while ago. It's been about a month I've been testing this thing out, so trust me, I have some experience with this thing. So this is their Inatech Mars Box, the BP2002 Bluetooth speaker. It has Bluetooth capabilities as well as an auxiliary input and FM radio, which is a little bit funny that we'll continue to talk about later in this review. Let's go ahead and explore it. So you can see it's a really nice looking speaker. It's kind of got like a, a two shape design. Not really sure, but it looks pretty awesome in my opinion. So you can stream music. It has super bass, that's, that's true. It has really, really good bass in my opinion. And it has a hands-free calling feature and a 2200 milliamp hour battery, which isn't the largest I've seen in something this powerful with this much bass. So the battery life isn't that good at all, but it would be nicer to have a bigger one, you know, but I'm happy with it. It does the job and lasts you quite a while. So again, you get 10 watts total output with five watts at each driver. And there's a full range sound in a compact design, which I totally agree with. You have long battery life, it says 10 to 15 hours of play time, but I was getting maybe, I don't know, I would estimate around eight. That's being a little generous. I, I felt like I had to charge it quite a bit. And they say Rouge et Noir, not sure what that means, but it says the red and black visual impact of the case is eye-catchy for interior decoration and outdoor carrying. That's pretty true. I got some nice looks when I was carrying this around downtown Chicago. You know, people were looking at it and they're like, wow, that's cool. You can see you have a little power button, a reset button, a USB in button, an auxiliary button. And again, you have an FM radio mode, which is a little hard to kind of work. You have to like sit there and seek, seek see so until you find a station you like it works fine but it's not really the best there could be a better system and again you have that auxiliary in so that's pretty much it for this on the bottom there are even some more specifications so apparently the driver power is already at 8 watts times 2 so a total of 16 but the amplifier power is 10 watts so i mean i guess it's pretty much 10 watts is what you get bluetooth 4.0 that's pretty awesome and that's pretty much it so let's go ahead and open this thing up Again, I have used this. I just wanted to put it back in the packaging so you can see how it looks. And honestly, this is one of the most high quality speakers I've seen ever. And I'm not really making two of a nice video. Usually I make really cool pans and showcase the product, but this thing is so good that I just want to talk to you about it. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this up. Packaging is brilliant. Absolutely stunning in my opinion. And I love it. So you can go ahead and open this. Boom, you're greeted with the user manual, which is pretty large. Look at this. That's a pretty large user manual for a Bluetooth speaker. Here you have the Bluetooth speaker. It actually comes up facing you. It's just because I put it back in. And I still have the plastic on it and everything. So still in amazing condition. Haven't had it for too long. You can see in this lighting that there's a base port right there. And you can see each driver looks nice. And right there, there's an LED indicator. And this is a rubberized finish. So it feels beautiful. And you can see that this is all matte. You get a nice, really, really large button. So you get that that little mode button and that call button. You get that volume down and volume up button. You get the little mic right there and the play and pause button. So really large buttons in my opinion makes it an easy speaker to use. You get the Inatech branding and all of the ports and such. And it charges pretty fast in my opinion. And there's a little red light that comes on and when it's done, it just turns off. Now this thing has some really good grips on the bottom. You can see that very, very nice grippies, but I just keep the tape on it just to keep the speaker looking beautiful. And honestly, the design 10 out of a million. The sound quality is so nice. I, I want to give you guys a test, but it's just not going to give it justice, but I'll give you a test anyway. And so we'll move on. Here you can see that we have more plastic. So it does come in plastic. Again, I did use it, so it's not, you know, full proper packaging, but this is one of the best parts of the speaker. Look at how high quality these cables are that Inatech gives you. Seriously, look at this. This is a very, very long braided cable. You get a really large USB connector, a micro USB connector on the other side. This is braided. It feels absolutely high quality. You get a little Velcro strap here to keep everything together. This is beautiful. It matches the speaker. I was so impressed when I saw this. I was just like, what? What? Inatech did an absolutely amazing job with this. I love it. And also we have a auxiliary cable here. You can see that you have some kind of Feels like fake plastic, not sure if it's actually aluminum. Not sure, it could be just plastic, but it still looks absolutely stunning. Very, very nice, so they give that to you. It it really looks amazing, I'm, I'm blown away by that. And you can go ahead and plug this in, boom, and you have straight up sound from coming from the speaker, which I think is super, super cool. 
Now this speaker isn't rugged, it's not waterproof or anything. This is literally something that they kind of did advertise as interior decoration, like something to use inside because it looks so nice. And you can bring it around with you, you know, put it inside of your backpack and you can, it kind of amplifies the bass, which is what I do. And it sounds really, really awesome. So that's about it, what you get in the packaging. That's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring my laptop so we can go ahead and hook that up via Bluetooth and we can get some sound quality tests here so you guys can kind of hear it. And I'll be back in a few. Okay guys, seconds. so now I can go ahead and give you guys that nice little sound test. So I have this plastic right in front of the bass port so you guys can actually hear the bass or see the bass, I should say. So I'm gonna go ahead and start slowly fading into this song. This is some EDM music, I really like that. And there's a lot of bass, so this is gonna be at full volume. I'm just gonna slowly fade it up. So let's go ahead and see how it sounds. <laughs> So this thing does get pretty freaking loud. You can see that there's a bunch of bass in there and honestly, it's it's really nice. There's a little bit of distortion, but that's kind of understandable and you're not gonna play the music full blast all the time. So it does the job and the distortion is very, very small. And honestly, I think this is a really good value for 60 bucks, you get FM radio, which I'll go ahead and show you guys that it works. So we have some static, but if you seek through it, Kind of pick up some stations. I noticed a lot of it's static, but you can pick up some things. As you can see, we have another station. So overall, guys, this speaker is pretty awesome. I love it, and I definitely can recommend it to you guys. It's worth the money. You get high quality stuff with it. So thank you guys for watching this review. If you have any additional questions, feel free to ask in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys in the next review.